All right, I'm going to bring on Frank, but if it's a stupid point, he's not going to last long. Simple, <laughs> as, that. Simple as that. Yes, Frank. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, oh, wait, Yemeni's changed his name, has he? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, his, that's his website. Okay. Yeah. So last time I was on, I, I brought a point about the Quran, and I'm asking you to defend the Quran, but you changed the topic. To being about whether the Quran was a biography of Muhammad, which is not the point I brought at all. The point I brought, the point What's I the brought point? was about the point. Well, that time I brought the point about the Dual Karnain story. Yeah, it's it is it's taken from legends about Ale Alexander. So, okay, there, there were legends that Alexander had built this this gate in the um, the Caspian Gate, this no, iron no, gate. I'm not going to hear the out. same thing again, man. You come on no, with I'm the same argument. That was the argument last time. Okay. Right. You, you, but you flipped it to that the Quran's not a biography of Muhammad somehow, and that somehow got rid of my point. Okay. Even I think I just, go, just go watch the stream and, and understand how we responded oh, to oh, it. Oh, I've watched it. Yeah. So you don't. But, so we don't need to respond but, to the same thing twice. But are you saying? Okay, I'm asking you then. Are you saying there's no biographical information about the Prophet in the Quran? When did I say that? Well, you you told me. That I had it wrong because the Quran is not a biography of Muhammad. Had what wrong? <laughs> that because I made the point. I, I said, I said this. Whoever wrote the Quran, whether it was Muhammad, he's telling stories that he'd heard. And then you flipped it to, no, it's not a not a biography of Muhammad. Why would I flip it to? It's not a biography of Muhammad if you've made the claim that Muhammad wrote it. Oh, but I didn't make, make the claim that he wrote. It. I just said, I said. He was telling stories that he'd heard. Well, why would I mention? Why would I mention the biography? Well, you'd have to tell me that. Well, no, I think but, you need to watch the stream and understand how. But we got the to. the there's um, no way. There's no way on this earth did you come on this stream and make the claim that Muhammad peace and peace upon him copied the story of uh, Dor Khanin from the stories of legends of Alexander the Great. And I responded to you, yeah, but the Quran's not a biography of Muhammad. This is absolutely no way. Because my brain don't work that way. Seriously, it well, don't. You, be you better watch the stream. That I know 100% there is absolutely no chance. You saying what you said that I would respond with, well, the Quran's not a biography of Muhammad. Okay, well, can I cut out that piece of, like, if I edit that bit of video and post it to you, email it to you. Yeah, yeah, do, do you it. Look at? Do okay. it. Okay, well, what's your email address? Askhamzasden at gmail.com. Askhamzasden at gmail. All right, I'll, I'll do that because that's exactly what you said. That was your answer. And no, see, I'm, I'm, missed, I'm missed about the argument somewhere. I'm, I'm challenging Islam by challenging the Quran and saying it's got stories from other places, and that applies to like this, like the Alexander legend, and it's got a lot of cop stuff copied from the Bible, um, where simple, he's retelling logical, Bible stories. Simple, simple logical question for you, partner. Uh, if something happens to have an account that is found from somewhere else, anything in the world, whether it's in um, a court case, uh, any book, if a book or any reference material references something that's referenced somewhere else, does that automatically negate that it could be true? Oh, no, not that it can be true, but... It, no, I'm saying does that you're, negate its truthfulness? Point. But you're, you're, what you're saying is that Muhammad or no, whoever, no, no. You're, you're got it all from an angel. angel. Again, you said you're challenging the Quran because it has things that appear in the Bible and in other sources. So if you agree that just by the fact of something having something similar, anything, it does not negate that it's false, then your point is moot. No, I mean, it, it means that he could have got it by natural means. It didn't have to be a miracle. You know, he, you know, he got the information by natural means. No, no, actually, actually, that's a non sequitur. His point, the point that Muslim Cowboy just made, you agreed to. But now you moved on to another point, which is that ju uh, that it's not an uh, it's not an argument of divine origin or something. What did yeah, you exactly. work from what said? So you just changed your point. You need to acknowledge firstly that the logical point the Muslim cowboy just made that undermined all of the waffling that you did before this. No, you're wrong. Wrong. What I said yeah, was so actually, he, actually he, he said, Frank, does Frank, that Frank, make Frank, it not true? Frank, he Frank, said, does Frank. that make it not true? Frank, Frank. Actually, actually, Muslim cowboy, can you repeat that point again, please? Because I think this is very, very important. All right. The question is. If any document, any book, any person, any reference material happens to co-align, happens to align or mention or reference 
something, another material, another book, or another event that was mentioned somewhere else, does that mean that the thing that's referencing it is false? Does that necessitate that it's false? By just by no, by virtue because, of because the thing it's copying could be true or could be false. So it depends on whether the original was true or false. I didn't say copying. I said it's referencing, like meaning that it, it could reference, but it could also be mentioning the same thing. So two people could have the same account of the same event. One person heard it from one source. One person got it from another source. Does two different books containing the same account of the same thing necessitate that the one that came later is false? Just by just by virtue of having it present. No, as I say, it depends on whether what was original was false. Just was by false virtue of it being there. I'm saying just by virtue of it existing. Does it necessitate no, it could, it, it could be true if the original was true, and it would be false if the original was false. And I, I'm saying there's an account about Dulkarnain in the Quran, which we can see is false because it's it's taken on it's it's taken stuff from previous writings about Alexander, which um, Josephus wrote, where he said he had this gate and it was to keep out Gog and Magog, and it's there in the Quran. My point again is is that if any book has the same information as another book or another work does it necessitate that it has to be a plagiarism it has to be false it has to show that it's not divine simply by the fact that it has matching information it's three different things plagiarism false or divine and it's so you, it's not so what are you arguing what's your point my my point is that the quran has he, it's got stories taken from no, another no, no, source. No, 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 it's why no, 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 you do what you It's presenting them as being Frank, divine. Frank, 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 Frank. That's not your point. That's you explaining your point. What is your point? The Quran has myths in it. The Quran has myths in it. Yeah, well, we just can't see it. I, I, I want well, you to you've just agreed with with, Frank, with Brandon. Frank. Yeah, you you've got this is this is if if you were able and and I and I think you are to understand the logic behind what you're trying to prove okay because this is the same thing that what's his name rob from sentinel apologetics uses and he seems like a smart guy but he just can't seem to get this one point right because he uses this for his whole argument that islam is false his entire I think you're not getting the point I, you've yeah, not understood all... the point all right yes no Frank... we get we completely get it here's the deal if any book including the new testament and paul paul references in his writings the old testament okay yep. okay but yet people consider that divine so paul plagiarizes the tanakh and yet you still can people christians still consider that divine i'm asking does the fact that something <laughs> contains a piece of information from somewhere else necessitate that it's plagiarized or false or could they both simultaneously be correct is it possible that Two things could have the same information, and it could be a correct thing, even if it is from another another source also has it. it. Does it necessitate that it's plagiarized, or it could be, if something is from God, could it not be that God actually is saying that this actually did happen? Plagiarism is when you pass something off as being your own work. If you're referencing something from the past and you're saying this is from the past, which is what Paul does, which is what New Testament does all over the place. That's not plagiarism. But, but one second, one second, one second. No, 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 you're not getting away with that. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second. I was just say this. Yeah. You do know when Allah speaks about the previous prophets, he's reminding us of the past. You know that, don't you? Have you read the Quran, Frank? <laughs> yeah, I've read no, parts of it. No, no, have you read the Quran, be. Frank, Frank, Frank? No, no, not from cover to cover. So you've read, not read read about half of it. All right. So he, do you understand that the Quran? Just one second. Just one second, Brendan. That's it. And then you can go. Do you do understand the Quran when it speaks about the prophets of the past and events of the past is reminding us of the past? You know that, don't you? Just as you said, Paul did. Well, yes. Right, yes. right, 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 right. So you understand that point. But that re that requires right, that the right. people who now, are being reminded knew about it. What? That requires that the people who are being reminded knew about it. And, and yet, Muhammad's supposed to be talking to Arabs who've never come whoa, across whoa, whoa, the Bible whoa, whoa, whoa. before. No, no, no. Who's it addressing when it speaks about this? What, is this is it addressing the children of Israel, isn't it? Very often, yeah. No, no. Frank, here's your problem. 
you haven't got a clue about the context or historical tongues. No, I think I do, Hamza. I think it's you. I'm who's telling confused. you, you don't. Because you think that Muhammad is speaking to Arabs, telling them, oh, remember uh, what we did to such and such a body. Well, Allah no, I'm saying that's the, the contradiction. No, no, no. Were, no. were there a lot no, no, of no, Jews Frank, in, Frank, in Frank, Mecca? Frank, 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 Frank. Allah in the Quran, he's speaking to the Bani Israel and people like that, reminding them of what happened in the past. Yeah? So when Allah talks about reminding you, he's reminding the people who knew of this thing. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, oh, I agree okay. with that, yeah. Right. He reminds the children of Israel. He reminds the people of the book. He reminds them of the prophets of the past. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the complete opposite of what you just said, because you said it's plagiarizing. Exactly. The, the thing is, the Quran in chapter 18, verse 13, Allah says very clearly, it is we who relate to you their story in truth. Indeed, yes. they were youths who believed in their Lord, and we increased them in guidance. So, you know, Allah is not passing, he's not saying that, oh, this is an original story that we've just come up with. Yeah, because what know, is I'm history? If to... this is an actual event, then, yeah. okay, it would make sense that it has been recorded in other places. Exactly. But where is he saying he got the story from? Allah is the primary, he is the witness to everything. And that's why he's saying, we are telling, we are relating okay. this story so to you got, truth, as it happened. Got, Look, I yeah, could diagnose Frank's problem. Stories. I'll diagnose Frank's problem. Also, he, he said something. This is Frank's problem. Will, Hamza. Well, a second, Brandon. I'm going to diagnose your problem. You believe Muhammad wrote the Quran, don't you? No. You don't believe Muhammad wrote the Quran? Well, he didn't. He, 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 well, nobody says he wrote it. You don't believe he's the source of the Quran then, by his own mind? Well, it, he's supposed to have composed it. Right. So you believe he composed the Quran? No. You don't believe he composed the Quran? Um, I, I'm not sure that he composed all of it. Who is the author, author of the Quran, Frank? Yeah. Who, is, who do you believe Good is question. the author of the Quran? Good question. Yeah, the, in in the, the first part, the Meccan, so-called Meccan surahs, Muhammad's not mentioned. There's a prophet. There's a guy, there's this unnamed prophet. Right. You've got Muhammad does I'm, make I'm, it, I'm, Stop get, doing this, Frank. Frank, Frank. I'm going to give this last warning now. Stop giving me the explanation to your answer. Give me your answer. Don't give you an explanation. No. Answer the question first, then justify your answer. I don't need to know why you're coming to your, your answer. Tell me your answer. Who is the author of the Quran? Can't say, I don't know. You don't Could know. Could have been Muhammad. Could have been Muhammad, but we don't know that for sure. Right. But you don't believe it's God? Definitely not. Right. So here's, the pro so, so here's the disconnect. You're asking us, as my brother said earlier to the other guest, We've got our paradigm. You can't paradigm shift us. You want to talk to Muslims about what we believe and why and all of these things. You step into our paradigm. You deal with that. Yeah. But I'm just now, showing you. I'm just showing you, know, what you, you doing, logical what stuff. What you're doing you're, is what you're doing, Frank. Is, yeah, what you're doing, your, Frank. Your excuse for the Quran you're is you've got a paradigm. You're committing the logical no. fallacy of sh uh, of uh, shifting paradigms. Yeah. Where you're Look, you're trying I, to I use your paradigm on our paradigm. <laughs> Doing a paradigm shift, which makes your Hamza, argument illogical, mate. You're you're running a show here where you're talking about having logic, having rational debate. So you're using the Western paradigm. So you've got to use that. You can't you can't right. back to somebody. Oh, we've got a different not paradigm. A paradigm. Rationality is not Western. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Frank. Frank, 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 Frank. Frank. It is. Western, I Western call rationality it, uh, grew out of, grew out of Christianity. Oh, I mean, Do you know what? Uh, uh, history, uh, then. Uh, just one second. I think I think this conversation uh, is, uh, is going on. Okay. Recently. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question then. Why are there six accounts of Moses in the in the Quran? Frank, why do you think rationality is a Western thing? Why? Well. It's 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 grown out of um, it, it, it's come from Christianity in the West. Okay, oh, I, okay, 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 okay. One second. Okay, one second. One second. Wasn't even born in the West. No. Let, let, let's look okay, at it. Goes back to the Greeks. It goes okay. back to the Greeks. Okay. Here's, 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 here's the point. Here's the point Frank. Islam turned Listen, against stop it. Stop all talking at the same time, okay. please. The Greeks got their information from the Indus Valley philosophers. Some of it. <laughs> there we go. So your point's invalid. It's not yeah. a Western thing. The, the Indian Indian philosophers, right, of the Indus Valley, their mathematics and their philosophy and their idea of science and all of these things, these were transferred to the Greeks. And there was a lot of cross-pollination of knowledge. So this idea 
that knowledge is or rationality is a Western concept is total nonsense. The other thing is that Western it Europe is now is the Muslim world. It is now. Wait, wait, okay, wait, okay, wait, wait a second. It is, it is, it is wow. now, it is now, is not an argument that you were originally making. So you've changed Sorry your <laughs> yeah, you, you flip the argument again. I'm saying the Quran is not rational. I, I think and, and I think Islam think is not rational. If somebody, yeah. if somebody so you've got, you, makes such irrational points, then there's no point having a discussion with them because he's I'm not conceding, he's not conceding to the very point that he initially made about rationality. Support, support, you know what the irony of all this? He's a Christian, he believes in the Trinity, which and there's so many uh, <laughs> yes. civilizations the prior, the prior to Christianity. Heather. There's so many civilizations prior to Christianity that believed in a Trinity and Son of God dying for the sins, and he's a Christian. His whole argument you know backfires on his position in Trinity. Right. 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 This is like Frank, Frank. Yeah. you're let's, defending let's, a Quran Frank. that contains right. nonsense. Frank, Frank the, 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 the issue is you can't come on this panel and then say that we are changing the sub subject. Me and you have exchanged maybe 27 emails on this very subject, and I've always been challenging you on your main uh issue here, which is you want to claim that they are plagiarized right that they these are fables or stories that are copied and transferred into the quran and yeah. i would say to you okay fine first identify the source of the quran as you believe it to be and then identify the means in which the, uh, these stories were plagiarized and neither okay, of these I two gave questions an example. Are, for I example, gave example the example, story. Story. you mentioned the you, mentioned, those, you mentioned you mentioned the uh, you know Book or a name, and you mentioned that this story can be found in Josephus's work, so Antiquities of the Jews. All right, um, you you are now essentially claiming that the this unknown source had a had a, a preserved copy of the Antiquities of the Jews, which, by the way, didn't the, no, the most. No, hold, no. hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. In order for this to in order for this story to to, to pop up. In the Quran, in the seventh century, which, by the way, Josephus is mostly preserved in Arabic writings from the ninth century, not before that. Um, and you're saying that this anonymous source managed to get a preserved because this is the only way he'll get this uh, this story is if he has a preserved source, preserved copy of the story, um, in order to be able to transfer it into the Quran and present it to the people in Mecca. No. It's it's passed on orally and legends grow. Well, even if it's so, you know, even if it's even if it's passed on orally, he would have to have access to the original information, the original no, source. You just, just had to hear the story. You just had to hear someone else tell the story. Right. So if it's if it's from hearsay, the thing is the, the interesting thing is here that you have also challenged you have also challenged the veracity of the hadith and the oral tradition of the hadith but now you are trusting the oral transmission of a source that we don't have any um authentic preservation until the ninth century uh, i'm not uh, do you know do you know do you not see I'm what not doing? about the veracity of it i'm just saying there are stories no, but you have challenged, it. But you have challenged the veracity of the hadith tradition of the oral transmission of something that has a vigorous uh, criteria in order to transmit it, and it's now you are relying on an anonymous source transmitting orally something that has not been preserved except by the Arabs in the ninth century, two centuries after Islam. That is what you are saying to us right now. Now, I'm saying that legends I think it's grow. Time to drop the time. mic, Frank. Later. Yeah. All right. Can Bye, you Frank. know, can we do some Quran since he hates the Quran so much? Um, yeah. uh, I just want to get rid of him. So he's he spoke about Dhulqarnain, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and right after that, Allah gives it turns our attention. And so this is it, it's it's amazing. It's talking about Frank and those people like Frank. You're talking gibberish to me. It means nothing. Right, 
فحبطت أعمالهم فلا نقيم لهم يوم القيامة وزنا ذلك جهنم ذلك جزاؤهم جهنم بما كفروا واتخذوا آياتي ورسولي هزوا That's the reward, hell, for their disbelief and mockery of my signs and my messengers. So that's what you got waiting for you if you don't repent, partner. Alhamdulillah. Um, welcome, Brandon. Salam alaikum, Akhi. Alaikum salam.